Hi, this is Rob Warlow from Business Loan Services and welcome to my Friday Business Finance Bulletin, my weekly roundup of news tips, ideas and strategies on raising finance and dealing with banks. So let's start off with some good news, shall we? Well, a recent survey carried out by Bibby's Financial Services as part of its regular Business Factors Index survey found that particularly in the services sector, since 2008, confidence has never been so high. Now, that's great news. Even more so is that they found that of those businesses surveyed, 25% of them said they are looking to take on more staff this year. Now that's great news, but as I've mentioned in previous videos, growth is good, but it can bring problems. And that's in terms of growth needs money. So if you're one of those firms taking on new staff, just be mindful that it may take some time for that staff member to become productive and so cover their wage. It may be that you need to get more stock in and that requires finance. If you're selling on credit, you've got a bigger debtor portfolio to fund and so that needs money. So if you're planning growth this year, make sure you are planning for the finance as well. So what about the alternative lending scene? Well, I've mentioned in a previous video about a consultation paper that the UK government has recently issued asking the question, should we legislate it that bank managers have to refer businesses on to alternative lenders where the bank has said no? Now, the interesting survey being brought out by Fleximes, which is a short-term funding provider, it said that 65% of business owners were in favour of legislation being put in place, making sure that bank managers do signpost people on to alternative lenders. Now, that's great. Yes, you know, it should be in bank managers' minds that there are alternatives out there, but equally, it should be in your mind as well. You know, there's a plethora of commercial finance brokers out there like us at Business Loan Services, hosting information out there, even regular news on this blog, all of which is pointing you at the plethora of alternative funders which are out there. So whilst the legislation may do some good, it's equally just down to you as well to get out there and hunt out those alternatives. So talking about alternative lenders, taking on crowdfunding, some more new players in the market. Now uh, you recall about crowdfunding, it's bringing investors who've got money together with business owners who want to borrow money and the crowdfunding platform sites are there to act like the conduit. Well, two new providers that popped up on my radar. First one, Money & Co. Now that's been headed by uh, Nicola Horlick, who has been well known in the city and she's brought a very good team together to launching its own crowdfunding platform site. So if you're looking to raise money, check that one out. Another one is Funding Tree. Uh, now this one's a little bit different, it's a hybrid. Um, on this site you can raise through crowdfunding both debt and equity. So, so if you're looking for an alternative to banks, check out those two um, new providers. A very vibrant sector, you know, with lots of business owners now hunting out these sites. So go and check them out. So what's my business tip for you this week? It was followed on from a conversation I had with a business owner uh, just recently where he was lamenting the fact that he missed out on a business opportunity because he wasn't prepared. He just wasn't ready for it. Now, we all you know, find out the fact that when you know, we meet lucky people, we say, ah, oh, they're really lucky, that business owner. But well, I came across a great definition of luck recently where luck is when preparation meets opportunity. When preparation meets opportunity. And so the lucky people are the ones who are prepared for when the opportunity comes. Now in terms of finance, and why this particular business owner um, was a bit down in the mouth, was he couldn't grasp that opportunity because he couldn't move quick enough. He wasn't prepared. So what does that preparation look like? Well, very simple, it's getting that business plan, that draft business plan ready. Yes, there's going to be gaps, but get as much information together about your business, about where you are now and where you want to be and all the actions you need to take. Get as much of it ready as you can so you can just fill in the gaps. Get you, make sure that your financial information is up to date. Have regular management accounts. Get your year-end figures into your accountant as quickly as you can. So all of this really is around making sure you're fully prepared for when opportunity knocks on the door and gives you the opportunity to grab hold of the deal of a lifetime. Don't miss out because you're not prepared. So there we are, that's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed those tips and that bit of news. If you found it useful as ever, please like this video and share it on the social network just to get the message out there. 
So thanks very much for being with me again. I look forward to being with you again next Friday afternoon, sharing more news, tips, ideas, and strategies on raising finance. Till then, have a great and profitable week. Catch you next Friday. Bye now.